Hey Booktube, here are some Valentine's Day recommendations. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks and I am an incurable, incurable romantic. Romantic infatuation to me has always been like a drug, <laughs> to be honest. I am so in love with love and since Valentine's Day is upon us. I thought I would recommend some books, some of my favorites to you, both on audio and in print, and um, just kind of throw them out there in case you wanted something really romantic to read for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to start off with the adult books, and I'm going to uh, begin with Kristen Higgins. Now, this is just uh, Kristen Higgins' book that I really liked. It is part of a series called the Blue Heron series, and these are narrated on audio by Exe Sands. Exe Sands has a very unique style when it comes to narrating, but it is very well suited to Kristen Higgins. And so I'm not a big fan of mass market paperbacks, but I loved this story. This one's called In Your Dreams, but the Blue Heron series is my favorite. And those books, in fact, one of them is a five-star book for me. I think it's the third book in the series. So Kristen Higgins, definitely a good choice for adult romance. I like Colleen Hoover most of the time, and this was one of my favorites of hers. It is November 9th, and it is narrated by Zachary Weber and somebody else that I can't remember, but I really liked it. I think it is her best book, uh, in my opinion. It's a wonderful love story told um, over the course of about five years where... Um, a boy and a girl, they start out as teenagers and then they, you know, progress on into young adult, new adulthood. And um, they meet once a year over the course of these five years on November 9th. Colleen Hoover throws in her typical plot twist, which was great. I really enjoyed this one. Definitely worth the read. I couldn't talk about adult romance without talking about my favorite adult romance author, and that is Elizabeth Hunter. And this is my favorite series of hers. She writes incredibly, incredibly good romance. This is paranormal about the descendants of angels, and it is her Iron Chronicles. This is not the whole set. This is the original three. There are more books in the series now, but this is The Scribe, the Singer, and The Secret. They are my favorites. On audio, they are narrated by Zachary Weber, which probably is the reason I like Zachary Weber so much as a narrator, because I love the story, I love the narration. If you can grab these on audio, please do, because they are amazing. Can't rave about them enough. On the Island is by Tracy Garvis Graves, and on audio, I don't know who it's narrated by. I didn't like it so much on audio. I'll put the narrator here on the screen, but I loved this in print. And what drew me in initially was the cover because holy cow, I wish I were her <laughs> right now. It is the story of a teacher and a student who get marooned on a desert island in the Maldives. And um, it is a sweet story. It is a wonderful story. It takes place over in a couple of settings, which make it really interesting, but it tugs at my heartstrings, and I've reread it a couple of times. I loved it. And my last adult romance recommendation would be Transcendence by Shay Savage, and she is independently published, so there is no audio for this. And it is the story told from the perspective of a prehistoric caveman. He discovers a girl who has fallen through time, and it's the story of their relationship. Well, this man, he has no capability to process language because the brocus area of his brain is not developed. He's a prehistoric caveman. But he has an internal dialogue going on in his mind. And so you get that without this ability for him to communicate with this modern girl. This love story is amazing. I absolutely love it. Like I say, I return to it time and time again because it just has a spot in my heart that is just, you know, reserved for only it, a very unique love story. I also have some recommendations from YA for you, and those I'll start with 
Kiri Taylor's What I Didn't Say. I love this book so much. On audio, it is narrated by Matthew Donahue, and I've read it a couple of times. It is about a boy who is injured in a car accident, and his vocal cords are injured and have to be removed. So he is mute, and the girl that helps him cope and that he falls in love with, and there's so much more to the story. Um, a lot of social commentary about kids caught in the system. This kid has the greatest family, best written family that I think I've ever read in YA fiction, so definitely worth your time to pick up. I Remember You is by Kathleen Davitt Bell. It is narrated on audio by this person that I can't remember off the top of my head. I picked this up at Book Outlet not knowing anything about it, and I loved it. It is a very interesting story about a boy and a girl in high school, and the boy remembers the girl, but the girl has never met him. So, big mystery that has to be solved, but the ending is what will get you with this book. It was amazing, and I was so surprised that I found this on Book Outlet, but had heard nothing about it. So, really good love story, really good. My favorite book of last year was What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum. This is amazing. This is an amazing love story that has so many dimensions to it. It is YA about an autistic young man. He is high-functioning autistic, which used to be called Asperger's, and a girl who has recently lost her dad in a car crash. Oh my gosh, such a love story. It is amazing. So yeah, if you haven't read this and you like YA contemporary love stories, this is definitely one to pick up. Emily Henry is a new author to me, and I discovered her last year, and so she has two books that are very near and dear to my heart, and one is The Love That Split the World. This is YA Contemporary with a little dash of paranormal. I really liked it. Um, really, more than liking the story, I like the way Emily Henry writes, so this is a really great one. Um, great love story that spans um, beyond the world and dimensions. Really, really amazing. And the last book I want to tell you about is A Million Junes, which is YA contemporary with a dash of magical realism. And the love story in this just goes way beyond a boy and a girl. It does have a boy and a girl in it that are the main characters. And they have kind of a Romeo and Juliet thing going on but it goes way beyond that into grief and forgiveness and bitterness and what can happen when great love is damaged and just how even more great love can come from it. So, oh, YA, wonderful. Best love story, YA love story that I think I've ever read. So those are my recommendations for romance for you for Valentine's Day. I would highly recommend any of those books. They are all my favorites, and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Whether you have a special Valentine or not, I really think that love is part of all of our lives, and, you know, a great love story is always appropriate on Valentine's Day. Have a great one, and that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.